Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with part of the and stuff because it's time for tea. And it's actually almost time for tea, waiting for the timer to go off to tell me when it, we're done steeping. Uh, today I have got my beanie mug from Miss, La Miss Lisa Ladybird Loves. I'm also wearing, um, well these are ostensibly stitch markers, but since they come on a sterling silver lever back, I wear them as earrings. She makes these too. Um, I'll have her link either up there or down below somewhere. And uh, got my tea bag in there that I had to fill with some loose tea. And I clip it to my, uh, I love my cat clothespin so that I can set it down and I don't lose the string in there. I don't have to go fishing and everything for it. Uh, when the timer goes off, which you will hear shortly, that'll mean that it should be about done steeping. But as you know, it's probably too hot for me to drink. Uh, last week I tried to actually inhale it and uh, nearly coughed up a lung in the process. So yay. Let's talk about the tea. Today's tea does come from my Sips by subscription, which I pay for myself. This is not sponsored. It's not gifted. It's nothing like that. This is just from me. This is coming from my December box and you get them personalized. Um, notice how this says made for Deborah because I go on their website and I say well I want to try these things and these things and you know serve them up and I pretty much tell them all the things all the caffeine levels but you can personalize that any way you like this one here which I have already opened to put it in the tea bag and stuff is turmeric oolong okay there's the beep. I'm actually going to leave it in there a smidge longer because there is more water in there than it calls for. And according to the Sips by card that you get, this is turmeric oolong by T squared, one teaspoon per 10 ounces of water, 195 degrees. So they don't want it at a rolling boil, and that's Fahrenheit. Um, that's just a little under boiling. Steep three to five minutes. In it, there is oolong tea, pineapple pieces, ginger, carob pieces, banana pieces, cinnamon, sweet potato, coconut chips, green cardamom, turmeric powder, black pepper, cloves, stevia leaves, and natural flavor. That's a lot of interesting stuff in a tea. This says it's low caffeine. This turmeric oolong tea adds a well-known health tonic twist Perfectly combining turmeric with fruity undernotes for a tasty tea that aids digestion and metabolism. And boy, do I need some help with my metabolism. Okay, you see this? Anyway, um, the tea itself, let me open this back up so I can get a really good snurf of it. One thing, if you can see it, it's actually got, I mean, you can see the pieces of stuff in there. It's, it's got chunks of real stuff. If you really think about it, you could actually smell pretty much most of the things they mention in there. A lot of stuff in there. And uh, yeah, let's let it sit a little bit longer. I have not sweetened it yet. I'm gonna taste it without sweetening it first. Then I'm gonna put my stevia in it probably. And I may go and add some creamer or milk as well because you know that I like to do that. Um, it's also still too doggone hot <laughs> for me to take a sip of but we knew that right and also in this one i've got a but you get four different teas every month and you ostensibly have four servings of each tea but because i use a bigger mug um sometimes i don't get the four servings but on this i think it said something about using it again or maybe that was another one but even on the package of this turmeric oolong which we had oolong a week or two ago little bit of a smoky flavor to that they give you all of the instructions right on there I like this packet that it's in it is nicely resealable um, and there is more in there so I can have some more tea and um, yeah I think I will fish this out oh, and by the way when you order from sips by they give you um, tea bags first you get this reusable muslin tea bag which you can use and then empty out and wash out and you also get what I'm using, uh, a bunch of these, which are disposable tea bags with just a string and you pull it tight and then you clip it to the outside like I do so that you don't lose it. But either way, you've got plenty of stuff to do with your um, loose teas, even if you don't have a, uh, a tea steeper. 
All right, let me pull this out. And whenever you pull your tea bags out, you're not supposed to squeeze them. You can kind of make sure that the excess water is off the outside. Okay, I'm gonna set that on my plate. Oh, and look at it. I'm gonna show this to you. Cause you can see how the things that are in there really plumped up while they were sitting in the hot water. Okay, let's get a look at this. It is very, very light in color which I would expect because most of the stuff in there is not actual black tea or anything, but there is some oolong. I was expecting it to be a little darker than that. That is super, super light. Let's see if some will get cool enough for me to actually take a small sip of. Hmm. Oh, that's a lot of interesting flavor going on for that very, very light looking tea. And the little bit of color that's coming from this might be from the turmeric because turmeric is something that is used in some cuisines. It does add a flavor. It's got health benefits, but it really adds a yellowy orangish color. That's neat. I'm going to sweeten it because I do like my teas sweetened usually. A little stevia here. Give it a little stir. Hmm. I like that. Let's take this out. Let's turn the mug around so that you can see the other side. And I can look at Beanie's sweet face while I'm drinking. <laughs> see, Lisa, I do love the Beanie mug. Of course, if I can get a sip out of it, if it's not too doggone hot. I do like it more sweetened because, well, I like my tea a little bit sweetened and I don't add a ton, ton of sweetener to mine. Just a little bit, you know, just, just to give it a touch of sweetness. Um, yeah, th this is tea that I would drink on a regular basis. Absolutely. And I didn't even put creamer in it, which I might still pause and go get the creamer and pour some in there or some milk, maybe just some milk. Hmm. I don't get some of these ingredients. I don't, I don't taste them, but I, I'm sure that they're adding something to the tea. Um, I don't taste the ginger. A lot of times when something has ginger in it, ginger is really, really powerful. I'm not tasting the ginger. So maybe it's just balanced out by some of these other things. Carob pieces, usually, carob usually tastes like chocolate or chocolate-ish. I'm not getting any of that, but again, they say it's in there. I, it, it tastes like somebody did, did have some cinnamon somewhere in the vicinity and it could have been in there. Um, sweet potato, that one messes with my head. I mean, I love sweet potato, don't get me wrong. I've never had it in my tea that I'm aware of. I mean, it's good for you, so maybe that's why. Coconut chips, I don't taste coke. I don't taste any of these things directly outright and maybe that's good that it's nicely blended. I don't taste black pepper either. But if you really think about it, you can find that taste in your palate. But yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna get some milk, I'm gonna pause this, and we'll be right back. Okay, come back. I have poured a little bit of milk into my mug, and now you can see it is sort of a creamy looking tea now. And this time it is milk and not just creamer. It also cools it off enough where I might be able to actually drink it now. It's nice that this tea also starts, you brew it below boiling. So it doesn't take quite as long to cool off to where I can actually put my lips on it. No, Oscar, it's not for you. Oscar just came by. Um, I like it with the milk. Of course, I like most teas with milk, unless it's like super fruity or something. And this is not, this doesn't taste fruity. It does taste like a, an oolong tea, a black tea, something like that, with just a little something something. It's not got that herbal tea flavor. Um, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I wasn't sure what to expect, quite honestly. I, I, was, I didn't know if I was going to expect just a smack in the face of turmeric 
which wouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, I don't want to get smacked in the face with it, but turmeric's good. I love to cook with it. This will do. I like it. I like pretty much all the teas that I've tasted so far from my Zip Spy boxes. Um, but I tend to like a lot of different things, just depending what I'm in the mood for. So, are you going to try some turmeric in your tea that comes around? Give it a shot. You never know. Also, there's somebody here who wants to see you. I told you he wanted to come see you. There he is. He's not sure why I'm drinking from a mug that has another kitty on it, but he doesn't care as long as I'm giving him some scratchings. And he's purring very loud right in my ear. What do you think, Oscar? Do you want some tea? Here. Not for you? Okay. He doesn't think too much of it, but you know, he's not much of a tea drinker either. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. Remember, take some time for tea. We all need it. I'll see you very, very soon. Tuesday reviews slash snacks around the world coming up. Um, also, all the other usual things and craziness that come along with crochet life and stuff with Deborah. See you very soon. Bye, y'all.